Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Pouty Feather and I'm back today with another card video for you today. I am going to use this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, mermaid stamp that I got from a card magazine, which I'm not sure <laughs> which one it was. I will have linked the um, uh, kind of showing of the video uh, of the um, card, not cards, the um, magazines as well as the um, little things you got like stamps and papers and stuff like that. I will have it linked in the info cards. And I'm just stamping like two of the little starfishes, one of the seaweed, one of the mermaid and one of the seashell with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink using my um, We Are Memory Keepers Precision Stamp Tool, which I absolutely love. And I used um, watercolor paper because I'm going to do some watercoloring later. This is my card base. This is a... Um, like a champagne colored um, shimmer cardstock and this is the uh, made with love stamp set from Technique Tuesday that I use on basically every layout. This is just a like a board um, that I use to tape my watercolor paper to and I'm using I didn't tape all of it because I didn't leave enough space but that's okay because I don't use as much water and this is the SIG um, Kuritaki um, pearlescent watercolor jewel pop pop box what am I saying box and I'm going to use um, these watercolors to color in the images and while I'm coloring I am going to play some music and I will be back with you when I am done And I am done with my watercoloring and I'm using this gorgeous background. This is a mist background that I made. I have a video um, you, uh, making those. I have this linked in the info cards as well. Absolutely love those backgrounds. A, it's so much fun to make. B, they are gorgeous and great. You just have a, a, now I just have a background for a card and it looks amazing. On the inside of my card, I used this gorgeous stamp that says Mermaid Wishes and Starfish Kisses, which I absolutely love. And on the flap of my envelope, I used the Starfish um, stamp, just stamped it once there. And now I'm trimming down this gorgeous um, cardstock. It's not cardstock, it's a background, which I absolutely love. Um, you can see the actual shimmer in the um, pictures I have on my blog post. The link is down below and I used some foam tape to pop it up because I love it and I ran out of or the first roll was um, done and I absolutely hate this foam tape. 
I think by now I finished it, but I hate it. So I'm, I'm glad that's done. <laughs> and I just peel off the backing. It looks like a hot mess. But yeah, just peel off the backing and I mat that on there. And this is, I don't know if I have mentioned it or if I just thought it, but this is um, one of, or actually my, my favorite card that I have made so far, or my actually one of my favorites like that i have ever made i absolutely love love it it's it's just gorgeous and i love the there you can see i did an ombre eh, with her hair it's not an ombre actually it's like two colors is it ombre i'm not sure actually so i did the purple in this gorgeous teal um with her hair and pink purple and this it's greenish teal with her tail and it looks adorable so now i'm just cutting out all of my little images and i really love them and i absolutely love the sick watercolor like the jewel box they are pricey because that little thing it was i think 20 or 25 um, euro which is a lot for when you consider how little you get because there's not a lot of paint in there but they're worth a recent they're gorgeous they're so pigmented and i absolutely love them and um they're just the shimmer is breathtaking so again i'm just cutting out my images i did two of the starfishes because i want to adhere one on the inside and one on the front of my card and the mermaid was a bit tricky, like the, the fin was a bit tricky because it was so curly. And other than that, I think I didn't have a problem. I don't remember. No, I don't think it was that hard to do. So I <clears throat> kind of losing my voice. I'm sorry for that. Just trimmed it out and that little tiny part in the was a bit tricky but other than that look at the I can't really see it because it's too fast sorry <laughs> but I I love it I was just I thought about popping up the um the little mermaid as well but I thought it would be too uh, much dimension and it would be um it's a bit how you say it like I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> Um, it's too delicate on some of the pieces, so I didn't want to risk anything to break. But I did pop up the starfish that I'm going to add in a bit. Just going back in with some glue. And also adhering that little piece of seaweed. And then the starfish I'm going to pop up, I believe. Am I? Yes. With those tiny pop dots, which are quite nice. And this was actually um, my sister's boyfriend. No, my boyfriend's sister <laughs> um, was sick. So I actually made the card for her. And super cute. So on the, um, just adhered it in the inside, obviously. Don't really have to comment that. But I did go through a few stamp sets that were just next to me from previous or future projects. <laughs> And I did want to add, uh, like, a, I didn't have a get well soon or something like that sentiment. So I just um, used this thinking of you sentiment, which I think is just adorable. It just looks very cute. So I think I am actually done with my card. I really enjoyed making it. It was a super cute, um, fun card. You can see the shimmer. I absolutely love it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can see pictures here coming up and on my blog. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.